Hello viewers, SuperGT here. Update 1.44 on the cards for us today. Let's take a look, shall we? Um, you're probably wondering, why on earth is he streaming at this time? What sort of time is this? Well, the update has just gone live. That's why I'm doing it. That would be why. So yes. Um, what was it? It's 8.30am 8, it's in the UK right now. And um, update, I don't know, went live like an hour ago or half an hour ago, something like that. So I'm going to get straight on it and give it a give it a quick look, see what's going on. And then we could do all the new events. Um, I mean, if I bring up on the screen, we have um, all the different things they have in this update. So obviously, three new cars, the Audi R8, the Lamborghini Urus, and the legendary, the iconic Toyota GT1 incredible stuff i know that this isn't the biggest update of all time but it does include some i mean for me this car it's an icon it's a legend of gran turismo got some new events we'll go through all of those today we'll test out the gt1 and see how good it is because i do believe it's in group two there's a bop change yes as someone is mentioning in chat so group three and four will be different so the spa daily race this week the leaderboards will be shattered. I've seen that the full GT has been uh, getting towards the top of the leaderboard on that already. Some new cafe stuff, some GT Auto. We've got some new uh, Mitsubishi Lancer engine swaps. Well, these cars you can now engine swap. Some limited edition decals in the livery editor. Some changes to World Circuit Escapes. I see that Kirif has said. There's a new location in the game. Yeah, it's Escape. It's Escape. It's not a new track. There is no new track in this game, in this update. And then some other things. So yeah, not, not huge, but this car, I mean, it's good to see that return. It's a shame that there's new, no new track. But um, yeah, it's a shame there's no new track. We haven't seen one added to the game since November, I believe, which was the which was Lake Louise. So it's been a while. It'd be good to have uh, another one soon. Did I ever play Grand Turismo 4? Yes. I played 1, 2, 3, and 4. I never played 5 or 6. Um, let me just claim this prize quick. <clears throat> what is it? It's time trial. Okay, nice. You actually see the new time trial is in the Toyota GT1 around Fuji. So we'll give that a go in just a moment. Du, du, du. Okay, so the Toyota GT1 is in here in the Legend Car dealership. You can't see it because I'm in the way. Let me uh, remove myself. So the Toyota GT1 is here. It's in the Legend Car dealership, 2.5 million. There it is, beautiful. Absolutely amazing to see that. 844 performance points in Group 2, quite crucially. I think before this we were deciding, is it going to be Group 1 or Group 2? But look, it is Group 2. I suppose that goes well with the Mercedes CLK, but we can test this um, in an online lobby. Let's maybe get a lobby where we get this car and the CLK, Mercedes, and then like, see how good... how balanced they are I suppose let's buy it <laughs> yeah the car was in Le Mans um, this competed in 1998 and 99 I believe I think it finished second in 1999 at Le Mans so it's a good car it makes you think could it have gone into group one it definitely could have done but they have put it in group two 2.5 mil yeah i was expecting a lot more that's why i kept some of my credits because i was thinking it might be like 15 million but that wasn't the case thank you james bonica 
Hope all is well, Steve. Been driving this beautiful Toyota since GT3 and 4. My first stream back since dealing with personal issues. Well, I'm sorry to hear about the personal issues, my friend, but you know what? Gran Turismo is a bit of therapy, isn't it? I think get on the game, just enjoy yourself and indulge in some amazing cars. We've got a Toyota GT1. I mean, what a blast from the past. It's really good to have that car return to the series. Um, definitely top five in terms of my most iconic Gran Turismo cars of all time. Maybe even top three. Maybe even top one, if you want to put it that way. But thank you, James. Okay, um, what was I going to do next? Thank you, Loic. Uh, the morning stream. There goes my productivity. So yeah, um, a slightly different time for my live stream today, of course. Lots of people were questioning in the chat beforehand, is this real? Does it need, Does he not mean 9.30pm? Or 8.30pm? But no, um, the update's just gone live, so I, I wanted to do it in the morning. Okay, um, let's let's buy the other two cars. Let's see how much they cost. Um, so one is the Lamborghini. Here it is, three hundred thousand for the Lamborghini Urus. It is a beast of a car, isn't it? I don't normally like SUVs. Most of these kind of bigger cars, I'm not the biggest fan of. But this one, I think, is actually quite cool but having said that if I had 300 grand in reality there's other cars you'd buy first <laughs> let's get it in that colour yeah 300 grand I was expecting the Toyota GT1 to cost like way more but um yeah 2.5 million for that the other car, what is it? The Audi R18. Quite a cool car, to be honest. That's that's a point, actually, yeah. I suppose if you have children, things are different, right? You need a... Well, I don't know if you need, but... A bigger car can be nice, I suppose. But yeah, you don't need an Urus, I suppose. And this is the other car, the Lamborghini. Lamborghini the Audi... R8 Coupe V10 plus 16. 300,000 as well. A range of colours on this. Let's get it in that. Yeah, make the kids walk. I'll drive the Lamborghini Urus. They can walk to school. Okay, so that's the three cars. As I say, again, no new track in this update, which is sad to see. We want to see some more tracks. It's, um, if, certainly if you compare GT7 to GT Sport, GT Sport gave us way more tracks than 7 has. So let's hope that that can change in the near future. Okay, it is time to give this car a go. We have some uh, new events. I can't remember which ones they are. Sorry, one second. At Le Mans, isn't it? Head to Le Mans. There it is. So this is the new event. So this is one of the new events they've added. The World Touring Car 900. Um, the Toyota GT1 comes in at 844. So we can try this race and see how it plays out just on the standard performance points and then uh, we can kind of rate it from there. Because... I mean, if it's kind of weird looking at the performance points here. Is that in order? Yeah, it is. It's not that far off a of Sauber C9, which is 852. That's only 8 less. It's, it's got more than the 787B. And, and that's in group one. The CLK is here, 809. So it's an interesting mix. It's really interesting that it's in group two and not one. But I guess if you BOP it, then it's then it's okay. But group one and group two are kind of messed up, the way that they work. Uh, it, it's definitely something that could be better on this game. 
Anyway, um, let's let me, let me just buy some tires quickly, and maybe I need to. I don't know if I need these, but let's just, let's just I'm just gonna buy them all. We got all the tires. Let's enter. There's a ten lap race around Spa, so this could go on for what? More than half an hour. My wheel isn't even on. Got some cars, yeah. Um, I've got um, over 400 cars in the game. I still need to buy, yeah, about 96 or something, something like that. Okay, let me just turn this wheel on. 10 laps around Le Mans. This could get quite legendary. I think it's going to... It's at sunset as well, isn't it? So it'd be quite nice. One thing I wanted to check... Sorry, I want to. I, I do want to get into this, but... This is something I should have changed because someone commented before... I was doing an on, uh, a World Circuits race and someone said, oh, your difficulty isn't doesn't seem as hard as mine. I was like, what? I don't know. I always thought I had it on hard, but no, I had it normal. So let's put it on hard. Put it on hard. Why aren't we running the M4 wheel? Uh, no, it is, it is compatible. So uh, yeah, let me just quickly deviate and say just thank you to everyone for the very positive response to um, the BMW GT4 drive of Bilstein this year. I announced it yesterday on a channel and on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um... This is the bad boy wheel that we actually used in the car. Well, not this exact one, but one like this. Um, so that's going to be really cool. In fact, I'm leaving in one week's time, Thursday next week, to go and um, to race for the first time. Um, so we've got a race on the 6th and 7th of April, and then on the 13th and 14th of April... So if anyone's down there in the nearby area to the Nürburgring, then please do come down to support us. But it's going to be an amazing year, guys, in um, BMW GT4 with Bill Stein. We're doing the Nürburgring 24-hour, 1st and 2nd of June. If you want to come down, please do. The Nürburgring 24 will be amazing. Definitely worth going to if you can ever get yourself to it. Yeah, Jimmy spon um, is sponsored by Moser, obviously a rival of Fanatec, so that's why he blurred his wheel. There's nothing more to it than that. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Job, for the 99.99. Congratulations on the GT4 collab with Bill Stein, mate. Stuff of dreams. All the best for the season. Thank you so much. And yeah, it, no, it is stuff of dreams. It is epic. Like, it's just crazy. Seriously crazy that... People are saying in the comments, you know, I remember you playing Forza on a controller, getting rammed off by shameful rammers, like, not that long ago now and now you know doing a full season of gt4 so it's pretty wild it is very wild okay let's see how this car performs then this is gonna be really fun right oh look at that what an iconic car we i feel like it's i feel like it's 2002 again Look at this. I mean, that is an iconic, iconic car. Really good to have it back. Let's go into the cockpit. See if there's any weather on this. At the moment, no. This could be a really cool race. I think they're going to do um, a night, t a day to night, maybe back to day tra transition. Oh my god, I've gone straight on. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't look at the chat like that. This in in PSVR two. This would be this would be very good. Yeah. Right. 
right. What, 10 laps to catch up? 42 seconds. That could be quite hard, actually. This... This event has a, a weird mix of Group 2 and Group 1 cars. I mean, Group 2 we're going to share with cars like that. Super GT cars. GT500 cars. Yeah, I mean, we can talk all day about the imbalance of Group 2 and Group 1, but this car is in Group 2. We could do a, a proper BOP test in a bit to check how balanced it is. It's the main competitor. That, oh, where's he breaking? It's the main competitor. It's surely going to be the CLK Mercedes. We've got a Group 3 car, eh? One icon overtakes another. Look at that. Past the Castrol Tom Supra. Can you imagine actually doing this for real? Driving this car around here at sunset. I mean, you'd have made it in life if you could ever do this. I suppose this is the closest I'll ever get. So that's the car which will be checking later on if this car is balanced with CLK well after having driven one lap it does feel very planted, as you probably imagine, but what is essentially a Group 1 car. Oh god, and I say that and I go wide. Yeah, these events are a bit funny with all the mix, weird mix of different cars. Those clouds look like they're... Oh, rain's coming. Rain is coming, guys. And I think we need a front bias on this car. Yeah, fuel. Let's check fuel. On the exit of this chicane. Okay. I mean, I, I'm probably going to have to come in at the end of this lap anyway. For the rain. It's coming. Let's get as far as we can before it comes in. Those are very, some very mean looking clouds up there. And another iconic Gran Turismo car. Pennzoil GT500. They're all here today. See the Suzuki Escudo in a minute. ETM car. Oh, it's the wipers on. Thank you, Will, Sim GT7, and Casper for the donations. I'll read those out in just a moment. Look at that wiper blade. It looks very, uh, very unusual. tread quite carefully now I think actually no the grip is actually fine yeah I bought the tyres I was prepared that this could be a, a wet race okay we've caught up half the gap from the from the start of the race so we should be fine for pace It 
doesn't no one's gone in okay we're just gonna stay out then we'll stay out i think that's the right call because it is raining but it's not strong enough the, the grip is still there just the weird way the uh, uh, the rain works in this game interesting event they've added here to be honest it's always good when they add a bit of dynamic weather a bit of dynamic time whoa car snap there He's still there. See you later, bro. I'll still switch a room. I don't know if we have to actually. I don't think we'll have to pit here. Maybe I should fuel save just to make sure we get five laps out of the car. Yeah, the rain seems to be light enough that it's not making a difference at the moment. Yeah, let's try and fuel save so I can eke out um, five laps on this stint. Kevin Wong. The donation, mate. Yeah, guys, um, we'll take a look at Daily Race C a little bit later on in this stream because I suppose it is part of the update in the sense that the BOP of Group 3 has changed. And therefore... Therefore, that affects daily race C, especially the qualifying. I've seen that um, the full GT has gone way quicker already than the McLaren, which was the dominant car earlier in the week. Wipe has stopped now. Oh, no. There it goes.
it's interesting because we have the um the official season coming out very soon don't we of gtws so the bop change this close could mix things up thank you casper try fuel map four i mean as long as i get to the end of lap five then i can do one stop so that's the main thing that matters re really i don't need to get to the end of six okay so here's the leaders of this race this is kind of weird because um this is a 900 rated event so i would have thought we'd see some group one cars in here but we haven't drying up now yeah we're not in the rain anymore it's a fun car it's a really fun car to drive The question has to be, will it be balanced with other cars? Or another car? It's only got one true competitor in Group 2, and that's the CLK, but we'll work out if it's actually got balance. But like I was saying earlier, we can talk all day about how bad the Group 1 and Group 2 classes are in the game how sort of weirdly split they are it's a bit wide oh god trying this view for a bit but you can see this car has a lot of rear tire wear but definitely a front bias i think would help YC viewer, any daily race C today? Yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. I'll, I want to focus on the update first and just get everything in the update. Skyline. Hey, Steve, good to see you live. Yeah, good to see you again, mate. Thank you for dropping in. Random call sign in here. All the big dogs. All the big dogs, as ever. Worst update yet. Um, I don't know about worse. I think there have been worse ones. Last month's one was worse, I think. But they do need to come up with a banger. We had the absolute banger that was the Spec 2 update in November. I mean, I'm not sure they can always have updates at that sort of level, but... Oh, that's really deep. Thank you, Joshua. McLaren F1 uh, Group 2 lack that much self for this guy. I don't really... Uh, the McLaren F1 and Group 2, the GTR. Um, I don't have it, so I don't actually know how good it is. I don't know... That, I suppose is another car that could be balanced with this one, but... What we can do in a moment, guys, or during this live stream, is set up a lobby where we'll turn BOP on. If you've got a McLaren 
F1 GTR. Maybe bring that and drive it. If you've got a Mercedes CLK, some people drive that, and then some people drive this. We'll, we'll see like which one, which one actually is the best. I think mediums is a good call, actually. Hard tires on the rear, yeah. I mean, you can only put a full compound on. But it's good logic, maybe. Is the Porsche GT1 in the game? Yes. So no, um... I know the one you mean. I don't think it is. Okay, get that. Oh, look at that car. Look at it. It's a great looking car. It is a very good looking car. Thank you, uh, Raf. We we'll just exit the pit lane here. It looks like everyone else pits on lap six. As Casper was saying, I've got my pit stop done. Just double check to make sure there's no uh, no more rain coming in. Nothing at the moment. Thank you, Raph. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Random Call Sign. One year a member. Thank you very much, man. the street version is in gt7 yeah i, I that's it yeah. yeah you got the strassen version in the game but not the race gt1 version thank you hugh hattrick good to see you again good sir hope you are very well thank you paul Hugh Hattrick says, Morning, Steve. My GT7 is down. Not sure why. Hmm. The update should have been... The maintenance was done earlier. So the game should be up and running now. Hopefully it works for you soon, my friend. Thank you, Paul. Congrats on the uh, GT4 BMW racing. Uh... Now we just need the Bentley Speed 8. And life is complete. Wait, if they added that car. Bentley Speed 8. Maybe the Nissan R390. As well. I mean, there's quite a few really cool cars they could add. But I do agree with you, man. The Bentley Speed 8 was such an iconic car. Just looks so good. It'd be so good if they brought that to the game. I just fear though with GT7 any cool track or car is going to be quite isolated like this car is just it's on its own it's just they're not going to add like I don't know what would be really cool is if they said right we've got a really cool GT1 update so we've got the R39 the Toyota GT1 six of the different cars that raced in GT1 back in the late 90s and put them all together uh, that's not really how they do things on Gran Turismo I guess
New Casper again. R8LM race car. I mean, there's there's so many cool cars they could add. Do you remember the um? Some of the Opal or the Vauxhall Calibra race car of the older DTM cars. I mean, there's so many cars they can add. Um, but yeah, there's, there's loads of cars out there. I'm sure loads of you would want to see in the game. The BMW V12 LMR. Lister Storm V12. What a car, yeah. Opal Calibra. There's the, there's the McLaren F1 GTR. See you later. This is supposed to be on hard difficulty. Why is he going at half speed? Clio V6, the 190e race car. Remember there was a... Um, I used to love it on GT... I think it was Grand Turismo 3. There was a... Camaro race car. I don't know if you guys remember that. Had like a black and white livery. That's a car I'd like to see. Oh, ideally, what we need is the Camaro LM. Yeah, what a cool car. The Vector M12. What we need to see, ideally, would be sort of a padding out of a lot of these classes. So it's all very well, like, having these cars, as cool as this car is, and I'm glad it's in the game. You want lots of similar cars that raced against it in real life to be added as well. So then you have actual competition in the game for this car. I know they can always do BOP, but... I mean, that's an, that's an issue with Group 2, for example. It's either... Oh, God, that's a bit late problem with group two is it's either it's either the, the super gt 500 cars which are be the best car for the track or the mercedes clk and it's like it's one of two different races and they're never balanced because they're just completely different kind of cars so you just need more i guess you just need more similar cars so that you can actually have a, a balanced race with different cars it doesn't quite work as it is right now. I don't, I, I don't know how you can ever really make the CLK GTR balanced with the Nissan GT500, the Super GT car. Like, it's just not going to work, really, is it? Uh, 329 around Spa. Uh, sorry, around Le Mans. Pretty decent, I suppose. But, I mean, I could definitely go quicker than that. I'm not pushing the hugest amount. I think the fastest Group 1 cars sort of do it. Low 320s. Maybe even below 320. If I recall back to the time trial they had here. Thank you, Ratnesh. Hi, Steve. Namaste from India. Do you watch cricket? Cricket isn't a sport I watch, really. There's only one time I ever watched cricket, like, in an entire event. That was 2004 Ashes. Don't ask me why. For some reason, everyone in England, well, a lot of people watch that one. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking absolute nonsense. Uh, no, I don't really watch cricket. Thank you, um, Rofter, for becoming a member. Welcome along, mate. Thank you, Stephen Ted, for the donation. No, sorry, becoming a member as well. Just kind of keep track of this. If 
Thank you, Latat666, for becoming a member. And thank you, Paul, again, and Hugh Hattrick. Cheers, guys. And thank you, Lucas. I heard that you enjoy money. No, no, I hate it, mate. Please, please, can you stop sending it to me? Please, like, really just don't. Please don't do that. It's one of the worst things in the world. Can you just please not, please not send any? That'd be great. Right, lap eight of 10. Might even lap someone at this rate. Am I being silly here? Or did I see something that normal difficulty is actually harder than hard? Somewhere. Have I read that? I don't know if that's complete nonsense. But I've just set this to hard after having it on normal for ages. And this doesn't seem particularly hard. Maybe this car is OP or something. Tommy Kyra. Yeah, man. Nearly a minute ahead of seconds. This is pure and utter domination from... The boys and girls back at the Toyota factory. Mitsubishi GTO LM. Oh, guys. There's, there's so many. There's so many cars we'd, we'd love to see. Personally, I want to see some tracks. I mean, obviously, I want to see more cars, but... A couple more tracks would be great. Give us Apricot Hill. Come on. You Casper again. Am I still racing KZ2? Um, I have never raced KZ2. I've had a go in a similar kart. That was in Atlanta last year. But, uh, um, throughout this year, I might do some karting. I want to do more. Uh, obviously, the main thing, as announced yesterday, is the BMW GT4. That's obviously the main priority. But, uh, throughout the year, I would like to do some races. Uh, uh, Rotax, I can do some... I can do some more Rotax. Maybe even test out the new layout at Wilton Mill, which you guys may have seen. They've added a weird little chicane to the final corner. Could go and give that a go. I want to race at my local circuit, uh, Bumble Park, as well. Because I haven't done that in nearly 20 years. Race the Rotax, I mean. I have raced there, but not in a Rotax. Tokyo R246. Oh, yeah. Iconic track. If I had to pick one track for them to add... That already existed in Gran Turismo. One track. What would I go for? I'm going to lap the um, Castrol Toms. It's actually a really hard decision. I'm, I'm leaning towards Seattle, to be honest. I always like that track. Silverstone. So, in my mind, I was thinking about um, classic circuits. Fictional ones. Silverstone would be great. Special Stage Route 5 would be right up there. Yeah. In terms of real tracks for them to add, Silverstone would be very high on the list. I think Silverstone would be great because... If they... As long as they added them, there's multiple configurations. So you can have... Obviously, the Grand Prix circuit. And then there's a couple of, like, shorter versions as well. Which always helps. So then you could race 
you can you can race a bigger range of cars on the track i mean don't get me wrong you can race cars you can race pretty slow cars on the full gp circuit but sometimes it's nice to have a smaller configuration because um last year and the year before i raced master mx fives at silverstone and as cool as it is that kind of car is a bit slow for that track you're on the straights for like 10 years but right, one more lap and we've got this out of the way hopefully i'll get the clean race bonus i don't think i remember touching any of the other cars or getting any penalties El Capitan. How could I forget about that baby? What a track. El Capitan. Iconic. Yeah, I'll have a word with Kaz. Come on, mate. Oi, mate. Oi, bruv. Get these tracks added, mate. Whoa. I'm sure he'll respond if I say it exactly like that. Oi, mate. You want to take a look at this track list, yeah? See ya later. Apricot Hill. Legendary. Oh, where's he going? Oh god, I am. That's not a good line. Don't do that. This rear left is dying. Midfield Raceway and Apricot Hill. Really cool. I'd love to see them both. I remember saying before GT7 even came out, before it launched, I was really looking forward to racing old school circuits, but with like modern graphics and modern like multiplayer. I suppose that's something I. I remember thinking, casting myself back to like when I was 11 playing Gran Turismo 3. And you're like, I wish I could race against other people. You never could back then. I think PlayStation 2 did have multiplayer. Like it was very primitive and it didn't work on every game. It was that PlayStation Network thing back then or something. I don't even, I don't even know if GT3 had multiplayer. I do remember my dad had a bunch of workmates and we went to his house once and played we, i bought along the tv and they all bought their tvs as well and then um we set up like a land party so that was like the only multiplayer i ever did on the old games i always wanted to play the new tracks so the old tracks on a new game but there we go finally completed the event 100 percent record on toyota gt1 Absolutely iconic. Thank you, Matthew McGrath, for becoming a member. Thank you, Luca. Heard that you hate money. Yeah, hate it, mate. Worst thing, don't send it to me. Okay, how long did that take? 36 minutes in the end. That's a weird event because it's a World Touring Car 900, but all of the cars are like well under 900. Miracles do happen, mate. Four star roulette ticket. Oh, did I, did I get the um, driver? Sorry, clean race bonus. I didn't even look. I did not even look. Oh, I've only got 14 hours left to do these. I won't do them right now, but what cars can you use? I could use the GT 
No, I can't. 800 or less. I might be able to detune it. Okay. I didn't. Oh. Oh well. What a shame. Okay, let's let's test out the other two cars quickly. We've got the Schwarzen League around high speed ring. Uh, high speed ring is up there. Where is it? Five laps. Okay, that's not too long, is it? Audi R18. Where art thou? There it is. Let's give this car a go. Six hundred twenty-six performance points. See how this car performs. Thank you, Roffer, for the twenty Australian dollars. What is Roffa saying? Been watching your content for over 12 months. Love it. Finally worked out how to become a member and donate. I'm old. Sad face. Well, Roffa, thank you very much. It's good that you're a fan of the channel. Um, yeah, just love that, you know? It's always really cool to hear that people have just become fans of the channel all around the world, all ages, whatever it is. It's just awesome. I love it. It's very, very cool. Allow me to hydrate quickly. Donington Park is a GT7 must. I was there yesterday, and I agree. It's an amazing track. What am I going to do when I reach 1 million? I'm just going to sell the channel, mate. Nah, I don't know. I'll just continue as ever, mate. It'll be really cool, but it is just a number, ultimately, I suppose. What are we on now? 907-150. Where is that camera side again? There we go. Okay, right, let's test this Audi R18. R18? R8. What am I talking about? That was uh, amateur hour. Jesus, what am I doing? I need to get used to this car. A lot less grip compared to a Toyota GT1, as you'd probably expect. Oh my god. Be a bit careful on that. On throw, it's got a lot of power. What am I doing here? Come on, Steve, wake up, mate. It's funny how the AI, they love to go low on the banking. That is not the line, guys. Look at that damn glare. I wonder if they'll do an update where they take, where they remove all the stupid glare that's in the game. That would be good, wouldn't it? Right, what speed can we reach? Come on, get to 200. Boom, just about. Top two have got quite far away already. Let's catch them up. So you should better take this banking flat out. Oh, see you later. Car's pretty quiet, yeah. 
seven gears. Move aside. Brakes. So for those who have just joined are probably wondering why on earth are you streaming at this time of the day? It's because the update has just gone live. Just wanted to test it out nice and early. Just joined. What is he driving? I'm driving the Audi R8 um, what's the full name of it? R8 Coupe V10 Plus 2016 which has just been added into the game. Yeah, I'm not totally convinced about this hard difficulty, to be honest. It doesn't seem any different than normal. Oh, keep it together. Oh, no. Paint work damage. What car's in the lead? Oh, it's the same car as me. Bruce Willies has become a member. What a name. Thank you very much, Bruce. a better corner I remember on this very track it must have been when I was like 9 or something on Gran Turismo 1 I did a 99 lap race with a, a friend from school and we were both on the same lap but then um, my mum called us down to have food and he went down, and then I drove my car one extra lap round and put it back in the same place. And then just went down and carried on, and then we went back to do the race. So he's going on to the final lap, and then I win it, because he thinks... We well, didn't know that I did an extra lap. So absolutely... 200 IQ strap. Didn't see it coming. Stay ahead of the competition, even if they're only nine years old, guys. Gotta be ruthless. Gotta be ruthless out there. It's a savage world we live in. <laughs> we were driving the, um, was it the Corvette Stingray? The one with the only slanted back. Always loved that car. That'd be a cool car to have on here. If it's not already in the game. Living gears. Yeah, you got to be you got to be ruthless in this world, you know. <laughs> Even if your opponent is only nine years old, don't hold back. Yeah, maybe he is already in the game. Okay, that was a nice, easy win here. Cool little car, this. I say little. It's not a little car. What, what hypercars and supercars would you guys want to see added into GT7? I, I would love to see Koenigsegg added. Koenigsegg would be really good. Koenigsegg Agera. Maybe some of... The, some of the ridiculous hypercars would be really cool. Thank you, um... Diraj, Kumar... Congrats, Steve, for the GT4 drive. Miracles do happen, mate. It's in there, Lewis. They do indeed, man. Honestly, it's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. Hennessy Venom. Oh, yeah. Rimac Nevera. McLaren P1, I think, is in the game already. The 499P. I mean, that's... I suppose it is a hypercar. By name, yeah. Any F1 car. Bugatti EB 110, yes. V8 supercars would be good. Opal Cadet. The new Bugatti. The Viper ACR. I mean, there's so many. Yeah, there's just so many in there. That they, they ought to add. The other event they've added is 
Blue Moon Speedway in field reverse. Where's Blue Moon? Isn't it in Japan? No, is it American? I always wait. Blue Moon's here. Yeah. Why did I think it was in Japan for a second? Um, they've added a European Clubman Cup 600. This one, there we go. The Urus is on the cover of it. So let's give that car a go. See how this absolute monster of a car handles. Where is it? There it is. 549 performance points. Four laps. Give it a go. Thank you, Hollow. This rounds my merch order up. Keep up the amazing work and good luck with the GT4. Oh, that's very uh, kind of you, mate. Thank you very much, ma'am. Ooh, yeah, merch store, supergt.gg. If you want to go and take a look, everything's half price. And then when when we sell out that um, batch of units, we'll get onto some different designs. Shadow Realm merch. Shadow Realm merch needs to happen, doesn't it? Plus, um. Plus some Barry R merch. And some Scott Check merch. Scott Check. Scott Speed. I'll get sued by Scott Speed for copyright. I mean, bloody hell, I'm high up compared to these guys, aren't I? I'm in a very commanding position. leaders have pulled away massively here so I need to catch up I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in um, four laps Around the outside. No, maybe not. Passing Ferraris like it's nothing in my Urus. Goodbye. Big dive bomb. Of about seven seconds on that lap, so he's going to be really close, I think. Still needs to go a bit quicker, though. If I want to win this race, oh god, not like that! Cheeky little wall bounce. Out of the way, Audi TT. Oh god, this car just doesn't rotate. So big. Funky old thing. As long as I get top three, then... The event is done, but... It's always nice to win. Oh god. if I can do this. I've only got one more lap. 
I only caught, only caught five seconds on that lap. Oh dear. Yeah, that's the thing these days. These brands do have to kind of sell these bigger, different cars. Like Porsche has the Macan and the Pan not a uh, Panamera. I don't mind, but um, Lamborghini is the Urus. I think it's a lot of these these rules that these car brands are under. They kind of have to sell these cars to be able to sell the sportier ones. It is what it is. Oh, I just forced him wide. Why are the top four, like, all up there like that? Why do this to me? Why do that to me, guys? Look at them. Just needed one more lap. Needed one more lap. God damn it. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> well, we've given the car a go. Finish seven. It is what it is. It is what it is. I've not seen that screen before. Look at that. Looking on disappointingly at your car. Need a bit of tuning, yeah. I think that race is doable with that exact tune. Four, I'm four seconds off the lead. My first lap was a bit slow. So another thing in this update, let's just take a quick look. Go to the cafe. There is a new extra menu in the game. Where is it? It is here. It's right at the bottom. For Jaguar. Now, luckily, I already have the three cars required. So we can receive the wards immediately. After Luca gives us some spiel about it. And it is the Jaguar D-Type. Wait. How much is this car worth? I might have just saved myself a lot of money by not having to buy this car. 6,000 collector points for it. Oh, is this a 6 million car? I think this is a 6 million car. Well, that saves me money. I'm happy. Yeah, 6 or 6.5 mil, yeah. I think it's six because the car collector points went up by 6,000. But that's money I don't have to spend on that car anymore. So that's good. In my quest to try and buy all of the cars, I have just saved six million. Um, Where are we with that, by the way? So now with the new three cars added, there's 497 cars in the game. And I've got 408 of them. So there's still more to come. And thank you, Joey Tempest. Just leaving for work. Have a great stream. Thank you very much, Joey. Thank you for, for jumping in. Always good to see you in the, in the chat. Thank you very much, ma'am. And with this new update, there's 100 and... Sorry. With this new update, there is 201 races in total in the world circuits. So that number is going to keep rising, essentially every update um what's i gonna do next that's the cafe world circuits i've done the world circuits events well i haven't actually because i just failed didn't i let i want to do that let me just see if we can just tune this car up a tiny bit are there any mods we can add uh let's have a look custom parts front oh there are the hell is that? 
Is that for ramming? That's for ramming, isn't it? That is for ramming. We're going to put it on. Side skirts. Yeah, I mean, sure. That's going to really affect the performance of the car. Rear. Different colour. Wing. Hmm. Nothing too much there, really, is it? Maybe a, a little bit more... A little bit more rear downforce. Why not? Rock on some. Ah, I think the custom rims are okay. They're not too bad. Huge aero gains. We could basically drive upside down in a tunnel at two mile an hour now. <laughs> There's no question about it. Um, should we be really stupid and just? Oh no, it's not here, is it? It's in tuning shop. A white body on it. Mm. Wait. You can do a white body? Let's see what it looks like. Because it's already wide enough. Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Doesn't do anything. Spot the difference, guys. I'm not really seeing too much there. It's the same image. Thank you... Elias, congrats on the GT4C. What an epic development. It is, it is crazy, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. For those who didn't see it, I'm racing GT4 cars this year. BMW M4 GT4 at the Nürburgring, including the um, Nürburgring 24 hour. So a big year ahead of us. First race is next week. And I haven't driven the car at the Nürburgring yet, so... We've got a lot to learn. Just buy it so we can see. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do it. My body install. Boom. The epic. <laughs> I love that animation. And <laughs> maybe the wheel arches. I don't know. Something. Something happened. As if there wasn't enough Urus already. We just made it even bigger. 50k well spent, yeah. Bargain. Thanks, game. I feel like every time I have to buy racing tyres or wets and inters, it's like, boom, 28 grand, 28,000. Oh, you lose so much money on tyres. A lot of money. Let's just put some power into this thing. I just spent 50k on nothing, yeah. A lesson in how to bankrupt yourself very quickly. Weight reduction could be a good idea, actually. That would probably be the best thing for this car. That is a solid idea. Right, we're coming back. We're going to do this race. I can win it. Armad, good to see you in here, man. Plus, we've got that front bumper on, haven't we? So... We can smash the crap out of everyone. What am I doing? World circuits. Come on. Come on, Steve. You can do it, mate. It's a chunky boy. It is a it is a big old thing, isn't it? I wonder if next week's Daily Race A will be Lamborghini Urus. Um, 200 laps of the Nürburgring. If it isn't, I'm, I'm never playing this game ever again. I'll never forgive polyphony. Okay, here we go. Let's do it properly this time. Right. Come on. Straight into a quick lap here. Brother! Excuse me. Oh my god. Come on, get it around that corner. Well, it's like turning a ship. I 
And now I know how the guys felt when they... Tr on the, the guys on the Titanic when they saw the iceberg. I know how they felt now. Trying to turn that bloody ship around. This is basically the same thing. Basically the same thing. Even with a weight reduction. Oh, nice little switcheroo on... I was going to say nice switcheroo. That wasn't a nice switcheroo at all. Titanic had more downforce. Yeah, there are definite factors at play there. They definitely didn't... They, they definitely never came in underweight after a race, the Titanic. Boys back at the Belfast shipbuilding factory. The Belfast? The, the Titanic was built? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, it is unfortunate that the Titanic had a DNF from its first race. I mean, I don't want to trivialise too much thousands of people dying, but... I just did, didn't I? Crap. I'm, so I'm very sorry. That must have been a harrowing moment, right? You see the iceberg and it's like, oh my goodness, we've got to turn this massive ship around. This is not going to be quick. Cancel Super GT. It's over, guys. We had a good run. I want to thank everyone for all the years of support. But, yeah, we're done now. Game over. Okay, we're catching up a lot quicker here. This is better. TVR Toscan. I thought TVR in the game. They need to add the speed 12. Yeah, Bill Stein deal's done. GT4 drives out of the window. What a shame. There we go. Into the leads on lap three. All you have to do is spend 50k on a wide body, which doesn't do anything. And you're all, you're all good to go on this race. It's as simple as that. Du, 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 du. Right, one more lap. Let's get this event done. Then we could do the Toyota GT1 time trial. Jacob for becoming a member of the channel. Welcome along, good friend. Thank you. Legendary moment. New events added to the game now complete. Job done. Lovely. Lovely stuff. We've got to put any speed eight. Yeah, definitely. Ah, so oh, I've got my 50 grand back. I've got my 50,000 back that I spent on upgrading the car, which did nothing. Great. In fact, I'm in a loss because I actually bought some other stuff. <laughs> Where are the new tracks? That's 
the million dollar question my friend we need some new tracks as cool as it is to have the Toyota GT1 some more tracks would be fantastic wouldn't it it would be good to have some more circuits added Um, okay, let's test out the time trial. Update GT cars. Could you imagine? Hey guys, Kaz here. Um, we're going to add a whole roster of brand new GT3 and hyper cars and LMP2 cars, including the Ferrari 499P, the, new, the, the Cadillac, the, the new Lamborghini, and in GT3, the updated Mercedes, Lexus, Ferrari, BMW, Porsche, uh, all of them. Yeah, we're going to add like 28 cars to the game. Cool. And it's all free. And on top of that, we're adding 12 of your favorite classic circuits, including Midfield Raceway, Complex String, Silverstone, Midfield Raceway. Did I say that already? We're adding it twice with that kind can you imagine if they just said that <laughs> and it was true uh, I mean I'd happily pay for it but uh, we can dream we can dream okay this the new time trial that's just been added features of course the lovely Toyota GT1 around Fuji see what we can do who's already set a time on the friends list a couple of friends there come on Kirith you can do it better you can do better than that man 36-0 he put me first place on his video which was a bit surprising like top 5 YouTubers but then it was only British YouTubers and then it wasn't all of the British YouTubers which is a handful of them. I'm definitely not the fastest. <laughs> There's no chance. Thank you, Arkies. Big congratulations on the exciting new real life racing adventures. Arkies, thank you so much, mate. Thank you very much, man. It's good to have you in here. Another big dog in the chat. And um, yeah, GT4 cars will be amazing this year. It's going to be really, really fun. I can't wait to get to the Nürburgring. I'm leaving in a week's time. I'm going to be at the Nürburgring for like 10 days or 11 days from the 4th to the 15th. So you're going to have to excuse maybe the lack of content during that time. I'm going to bring my PC and my PlayStation. I'll try and work something out. I might be able to live stream on a controller. I'm not going to be able to bring my whole rig. But um, I'm going to work something out. We're going to try and still make content while I'm there. So... It's not impossible for me to do that. We can make a little makeshift setup. And um, yeah. We'll try and do something. We'll try and do something. Are there new weekly challenges today? Yes. Um, I think there's like 14 hours left or something on the current was set. And then then the new ones will be there. Okay, so let's, let's kind of pick a target here. 31-1 is the world's number one at the moment. I think getting within a second of that would be good. So a low 32 would be good. Ark is, there he is. 36th in the world. Absolute, absolute beast that he is. Um, he's on a 32 too. So I think getting towards the low 32s is where we kind of want to be. So let's jump in after we've changed our car back to this. What I do want to check in a minute is if anyone's made liveries for this car already, which could be quite cool. Medium tyres. Okay, let's jump in. How many new tracks have been added since release? Um, oh, good question. Like genuinely absolutely brand new tracks not many i'm trying to think now now that you've said it i know i will jump into this update in a moment but i do want to kind of know the answer to that 
Um, we've had Lake Louise. So, of course, we had, like, the Catalonia Rallycross circuit. Cas Catalonia new layout. We have the new Nürburgring layout. So, it's not really a new track. Um, it's just, like, a different configuration of an existing track. Grand Valley Highway, yeah. Grand Valley Highway is one. Lake Louise. Highway, I mean, is a redux of a previous existing track, but it is a new track compared to launch. There's not many that have been added. Let me just go through the list. Le Mans at launch. Alsace, Maggiore, Interlagos, Monza... Autopolis, Blue Moon, Brands Hatch, Broadbean, Catalonia, which has had Rallycross and No Chicane added. St. Croix, Spa, which had the 24 hour layout added, I think. Colorado Springs, Daytona, Deep Forest, Dragon Trail, Fisherman's Ranch, Fuji, Goodwood, Grand Valley, which is, that's new. High Speed Ring, Kyoto, Lake Louise, which is new. Road Atlanta, that was added, I do believe. Mount Panorama, Northern Isle, Nürburgring. We had the different layouts, 24-hour layout, endurance layout, sprint layout. Red Bull Ring, Sardinia, Sardinia Windmills, Special Stage Route X, Suzuka, Tokyo Expressway, Trial Mountain, Tsukuba. Watkins Glen was added. Laguna Seca, Willow Springs. So yeah, it's just like Watkins, Road Atlanta, Lake Louise and the one <laughs> Grand Valley or by like actual new locations the like actual new tracks added and then some tracks have had configurations added so it's not I mean it's, is it good is that a good amount in two years I think there could be more. GT Sport had a lot more in the same time frame. GT Sport seemed to have one like every other month for like two years. So I, I, I wish they could do more. I wish they could do more. I, I think like the fact that Lake Louise was the last one and that was five months ago is like, oh, come on. Come on, just add one. Just add one. Right, I'm going to add my own ghost, 0.3 seconds, let's jump in. Look at this thing. Love it. Sultan of Awesome. Thank you very much, man. Okay. That's not the breaking point. Breaking point is like 150, maybe. I still get PTSD from this track after doing it 400 times with a level 50 trophy. Yeah, man. I, I, know, I know how that feels. Fuji isn't my best track. If you're having to do it 400 times, then that doesn't help, does it? <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Sultan of Awesome. What a name. little bit clunky this car like not outrageously so oh God. you can tell it isn't you can tell it doesn't have sort of lmp1 levels of grip like it does take a little bit longer to get into the corners you can see why it's in group two although it could definitely be in group one Yeah, Fuji's never been one of my strongest tracks. Uh, there's just something about it. I just can't quite get the flow, the rhythm of it. 
So we're aiming for low sort of... Let's get into the 32s at least. That's where we need to be. Yeah, the 150 board seems about right. my ghost I know where it's gone that's the second gear corner whoa okay it does kick around got a lot of steering angle on Three, four, or thirty three, five, essentially. Get there. Coming out of there in second seemed better. Need to get close to that. It doesn't seem like it has a huge amount of downforce through there. Quite a lot of time saved on that corner. It's too late on the brakes. Come on, go in. Okay, a little bit quicker there. Thank you, Kevin. Enjoyed the new BMW race car video last night. Congratulations and good luck. Great content as always. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, man. I'm glad you glad you like it. Yeah, the, the BMW. That was that was um. Oh man, that, that car around Portimao was so fun. Such a good, such a good track. Such a good track. That's a better line. I need to get the breaking point right for this one. A bit better. Oh, God. Hit the bollard. I wonder if a front bias will help. Nope, you can't change the bias. So that will not help. Yeah, if you missed the BMW thing, it was um, it's on the channel. It was posted yesterday. There is a video on it. Also have a behind the scenes video on the second channel. More Super GT. 
I'm gonna go and check that out. Get in there with the lap time. Just need to get a clean lap here. Don't hit this bollard on the exit. That's five tenths. That should be a mid to high 32. I mean, this 32.2 from Marquis is a very good lap. 32.6. Okay. Four tenths to find. Where can we find it? That is the question. I think this left hander coming up, there's a lot of time in it. Not easy to get right though. that thing again. Okay, yeah. I can never get a few temps off at that time. We can start getting into the low 32s. That's the 35. Oh, God. I hit the grass on the way in. Somehow I've got a better exit than my ghost. How does that work? That's better. Two tenths up. Committed way too early to... Committed so early to that. But I was nearly a quarter of a second up. So I can do it. I could still beat the lap. If I get this right. <laughs> One sec, let me just take this donation. Congrats on your new achievement, Steve. Have you given a try to ACC before? We need the TS livery on that GT1 Pronto. <laughs> Um, ACC is something... It's a game I've not really tried a huge amount, if I'm honest. Yeah, I've not really... I have played it. I have got it. But it's not one I've really put much time into. I think I'm going to get more into iRacing. After doing the Sebring 12, I've really enjoyed that. But, um, thank, thank you for the donation anyway, man. And um, but yeah, the GT4 is going to be amazing this year. That's that's the that's the big thing, isn't it? That's going to be so cool. Yeah, it's really difficult to like jump between lots of different sims. 
kind of like, I, I say even jumping between two is enough. Oh, that's too late into there now. Like GT7 and I racing, those two alone would be quite hard to jump between. That's an improvement. Nearly two tenths. Let's do four. Get in there. There's definitely a lot of time coming out of that corner. I think you ought to keep the revs of the car up. Otherwise, it doesn't accelerate nicely. Come on, car, turn. Too early again. Yeah, I'm driving really messily, but... If I tidy it up, I know like there's a low 32. Kellan for becoming a member. Welcome along. Thank you. Come on, Steve. Okay, 32.7 is a bad lap now, so we're getting there. Look at that time gain there. That's the exit. Nearly two temps into this corner. You get that exit dead right. I've lost a little bit there, but... There's two tenths on the exit of turn one alone. Just really about getting on the power early. So much time. The car is a little bit shaky on the exit, as you can see. Oh, it's very shaky. One and a half tenths quicker in that first sector alone. There we go. Way too brave. I'll try it, I suppose. That's the better line through there. Be nice and narrow.
a real bruh moment. This is this is essentially the process of a time trial. Working out where you can go quicker. You're not always going to string it together straight away, though. That's just how it works. Okay, two tens up on that lap. I know it wasn't clean, but... to two it's doable get wide a bit narrow No. Horrible exit. It's going to be an improvement, but that's annoying. Two, two, three. God damn it. I lost a tenth in that final corner. Went a tiny bit quicker there with that slide. Kind of wild. Come on. Thirty two one. That's a good lap. I could def I, I think more pushing, get into the 31s. But that is not too bad. For a little session there. Optimum was a 32-0. Not much quicker, but yeah, there's a 30. There's a 31 in that with a bit more time. 32nd in the world. I know it's early, but I'll take it. Your arc is no shame in being defeated by you. I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't know if I'd be able to beat your time because that was a good lap. It takes some getting used to this car. You've got to really get on the power quite early and be brave 
That's a point. Yeah, I didn't have a ghost. That's a good point, Flash Dagger. I normally can eke out two, three more tents with a ghost. Have a look at the leaderboard already. Keys done a 31 9. 31 5 for Consta. In terms of global ranking, 32. So I'm within one second of the number one. That's uh, pretty good. That's normally where I'm at. But I could easily be in this sort of region here, I think, with a bit more time. 31 8, 31 9. Not impossible. That sort of area there. Jack, yes, please do send. <laughs> Simply race, ghost. In a completely different car, on a different track, but please. Yeah, these guys at the top are just like. I mean, we can watch their replay. That's a good idea, actually. I want to watch their replay. See what on earth they're doing. These aliens. Let's, let's watch this. Du, 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 du. What a beautiful car. What a beauty. Let's see what he does. Oh, holds that gear really long. Okay, that's something. Makes a bit later than me. First gear over the curb. Second gear. Yeah. More curb. Carry the speed really wide what line do we take from here lift long lift yeah i seem yeah okay so i seem to work that out that is the quickest way through there it's just doing it a bit better i can get out of there really wide on the curb minimize the straight on the shadow 48 uh three through there all over that what gear here second yeah because it is an older car, I think you do want... If you can minimise that first to second gear shift, then it does help. Yeah. First, rotation. Second. Okay, I could have been closer to the apex there. You go really wide. First gear. Back to second. On the power a lot earlier. It takes a more curved exit. So, to be honest... I think I worked out what he's doing in my little session there. The basic principles of how to get that lap done quickly. I could just carry more exit speed, I think. But he's just obviously better at the line. I think I worked out the lines and everything, but that was a... It's just a crazy lap, isn't it? The, the, the precision is unreal. Unbelievable. It's a very, very impressive. Should I chase a ghost? Yeah, okay. Let's 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 chase a ghost. I I, I reckon it should improve me by a few tenths. Um, which one should we go for? So I'm, I've got a 321. Ideally, we need one that's just like a little bit quicker. So let's go for this one, Levicious. 318. Let's let's follow. Oh wait, you have to go into the thing, don't you? Yeah, he's, he's right more on the track limit. For sure. Um, that number one. I've not got Levicious on my friends list. There he is. Right. Load Ghost. I mean, my lap is pretty good. I'm happy with it, but I'm 34th in the world now. But there's more time in it. Right. No ghost settings. Where are we going? Uh, loaded ghost. Put it. Is it best to have it level? Or just in front? Sometimes it's distracting if it's right inside you. I'm going to try 0.2. Right,
Okay, right. Let's go. It took me a little bit just to get used to following the ghost, but we'll get there. Get my rhythm back. Okay, come on. Grove Street, good to see you, mate. Must be early for you. It's half ten here in the UK. Good job to any Americans watching this. Oh, I need to hold the fourth gear for longer, don't I? that corner. Let's get that a lot better. Why does it not want to slow down? A dirty tyres, I think. Okay. I can, I, I can see the potential here. It, ju it just takes a, it takes a while to build up to it. Actually, one sec. This might sound weird, but I'm going to move the ghost back. Just by... to 0 0.3. Thank you, Pyro. 6.30 in New York. Yeah, and that's the that's the East Coast. But thank you very much, ma'am. Oh god. Now that corner is very problematic. It's almost like you just have to get on the power early and just deal with the slide that happens. And it's still quicker. Ideally, you can just eliminate the slide before it happens, but even if it does happen, it's still quite quick. Oh, God. Thank you, Daniel uh, Davies, for becoming a member. But that corner needs to be better. And the final corner just... Oh, it just doesn't want to turn. Okay, right, come on. Is this Fuji? It is indeed.
Okay, I hit the thing, but we keep going. By that corner, that's the problem. Just committing way too early to it. Getting a really poor exit. Lost a lot of time there. I think Levicious is really good for the final sector. Certainly compared to me. Thank you, Caleb. 11.30 p.m. here in New Zealand. So your day's already ended, near enough. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Some people are just waking up. annoying okay that was a really good first half of that lap Thirty-two, two, and I messed up so much of that lap. What? really wide. Oh, man. I think that could have been a 30... That would have been a 31 if I didn't make that mistake at the end there. It's a red lap as well. Let's start again. I was actually very close to being a 31 that lap. I know I hit the bollard, but... I'm not that far from doing this. Ghost gives nothing. I, d I don't agree. I don't agree. I think it does.
whenever I drive against a ghost, I always go like two, three tenths quicker, ultimately. But like, it, it, it definitely helps. As much as it might not look like it. Because as a viewer, it's different than psychologically what I'm thinking in my mind. I, I think it does help. But it's just like, you have to get there. scruffy can't get the car to go into that corner Very frustrating corner. Thank you, Iron Mike. Enjoying your stream from Western Australia, 6 30 pm here. That is good to hear, ma'am. It's probably a better time for you, me streaming at this sort of time. Thank you for the 31 Australian dollars. Very generous, mate. man just that final sector i just can't do it that's where all the time is that's a bit quicker Come on, man. It's so frustrating, isn't it? Looking it all up in one lap. the Kingslayer. Lovely content, mate. From Melbourne, Australia. Plenty of uh, Australian viewers today, then. I suppose it is a better time, as I said.
smash my microphone. That was close. Roffa with a 50. Perfect time for Aussie viewers. Only second time seeing a live stream. Thank you very much, man. That's very generous of you. Very generous of you. But yeah, it's one of them, I suppose. If you're streaming on the internet, whatever time you stream, it's going to work for some people. It's not going to work for others. But... Happy you Aussies can uh, have a nice viewing experience this evening. Yeah, that was that was very nearly the lap. Corner is horrible. Too wide. Oh, thank you, Roffer, again. Yeah, the Sebring trial was amazing, man. I, I was really happy with that. I think lots of people enjoyed tuning into that one. I need a break from that. Thank you, Roffer, again for another 50. Caught first two hours and last two hours of the Sebring 12 hour. Awesome stuff. I really enjoyed it because even when I, obviously when I'm driving, it's quite intense and I can't interact with the chat too much. Um, but when I was not driving, obviously Jimmy was driving, so we had something to watch and pay attention to and then I could chat with Jimmy and yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. So thank you, Roffa. Glad you glad you liked it. Thank you for the two donations there, man. You don't have to do that. Thank you, Bucket Hat Man. Hey, Super Beauty. When do you think you'll organise a lobby from Palmerston North, New Zealand? Huge fan. You know what? Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. What I want to do is set up a lobby. It's going to be Group 2. It's going to be Toyota GT1. If you also happen to have the... Um, Mercedes CLK then maybe some of us join with that car some of us join with the McLaren F1 GTR and let's, let's kind of just work out if the cars are sort of balanced or not so I'm going to set up a lobby try to keep this nice and respectful and decent quality racing am I going to upload the Monday stream. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that one because it was just like 
there wasn't much to that stream. I, I was feeling uh, way too tired and I just made so many mistakes. Okay, let's wait for this to load. Taking his time. Come on. Uh, right. Create a new room. Let's just load some settings from something. Here, right. So the track. I'll just call it Super GT. Hello, viewers. Right, um. Where are we going? What track should we do? I think a real track would make sense into Lagos could be an interesting interesting one we'll do a few different tracks we're not just going to do one um let's make sure all the different conditions are correct so BOP is on that's what we want let's have minimal tire wear for this first one and group two usable tires let's say let's say medium tires for now just make sure tuning I, I, sh I should probably make these lobby settings before shouldn't i bop is on so tuning's prohibited yeah du, du, du. no limit save can i save a new one g great name fantastic name there <laughs> g g g lake louise road atlanta <laughs> thank you jdm big congrats in being part of a gt4 uh part of gt4 racing keep leveling up love your content thank you very much jdm very kind of you to say but yeah g um the gt4 this year is going to be absolutely mega just can't wait just can't wait to get started and it starts next week i'll be driving the track for the first time friday next week so we're not that far off um and thank you air 7771 south african now living in sydney next up we need an australian scott speed account we also want to race you mate yeah i do need to make an oceana america's sorry a mo oceana slash asian account I haven't actually raced in that region yet. So that could be fun. Okay, what cars have we got? So this is the mess that is Group 2. It is all over the place. GT500 cars. Then you have an RS5 DTM car. And then you have the Toyota GT1 and the CLK LM. So there's a, a really weird mismatch here. I'm going to drive the CLK for the first race. But yeah, we've got a couple of guys here driving some different cars. So it'll be interesting to see how this um, how this works out in terms of the balance. Oh, Roffer again. Got to go ba uh, Bathurst, surely. That would be an amazing race to go to. I mean, I'd love to go to the track. I would love to go there, man. It would be... Which part of Australia is that in? I'm guessing... New South Wales? Isn't that where everything is? But, um... I'd love to go there one day. I mean, I've never been to Australia or New Zealand, but... They are countries I'd love to go to. Yeah, Southeast, I, I suppose. Isn't 80% of Australia in the Southeast? Eighty percent of all the kangaroos, mate. All the dingoes. Whoa, hello. I oh, will just do a little bit of warm up here, and then we can. Um... Okay, now let's do those backfires. still quite a few Americans in this lobby. Americans love 
Lo they love it. Waking up. Oh, God. Okay, you... You do need to brake quite early in this car. Trying to work out how it feels with this BAP. It feels quicker. A big moment there, Hassam. All over that curb. Pistol Pete. Good morning from New York. Been a fan since the Forza days. Keep it up, bro. Thank you very much, Pistol Pete. Very kind of you. The Forza days, eh? Quite a while ago now. 100 boards. Okay. 100 board works, but we can break a bit later than that. Oh, Sam's having some... Hard time that. Roffer again, man. Last one, bro. <laughs> Meant for BOP. BOP. Check track. Meant for BOP. Check track. Am I reading that wrong? I think. Maybe what you're saying is they check the BOP of different cars around this track. Which I think is true, from what I've heard. Thank you, Soup Appreciator. A roffer, mate. <laughs> Just give me 200 Australian dollars. Absolute legends. I'll have to spend it when I eventually come to Australia one day. Will Murdoch has a guy, mate. Oh, qualifying. Whoops. Ah, screw it. Let's do qualifying. Why not? Will Murdoch. What a guy. What a guy. Only the second quickest UK player after me. After Super GT. Super appreciator, are you having soup right now? The one minute timer. No one. No one's going to finish a lap. What are these settings? Good job, uh, Super GT. Great settings here, mate. No one's going to finish a lap. <laughs> Uh, whoops. There's a formation lap. Warm up the tyres, guys. Warm up the tyres. I, I have no idea what this grid's going to be. It's going to be a, a jumbled mess. Absolutely jumbled mess. So it's a warm-up lap, isn't it? It's is just a warm-up. Everyone drive around and do one lap. Thank you, Iceberg85. One fact about Bathurst. When there isn't a race, it's just a public road, so you can drive around it whenever you want. That's pretty cool. Kind of like Le Mans. Well, not the main 
not some of it but a lot of the more sand straight you can drive on it's cool isn't it <laughs> maybe if i go there one day i will just drive around it second on the grid okay start race thank you iceberg maybe one day we'll make the trip to the infamous mount panorama maybe one day my friend Do you need a ticket to watch the race, the Nürburgring 24? Yes, I, be I do believe you do. I don't think it's too expensive, so. Oh, standing start. Oh my goodness. I I'll try it without traction. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's see the drag race then. Oh, he's on my right. He's still there. Oh, I've got more speed than him, I think. Oh, it's not running wide. So he's in the Audi RS5. TTM. Let's see how... Oh, he's got a lot more grip, I think. Then you probably expect that. See, okay, GTR's coming through. Well, let's see this gap. Is the CLK going to catch up? I think the CLK might have a lot more power, actually. Uh, it's not too different. It's about the same. Yeah, that Audi's gone backwards. Yeah, it does feel... If the car feels clunky in this class, there's no question. It, feel, it, it feels restricted, which it is, I guess. away slightly I think the um, I think the Mercedes has better sort of mid-range acceleration it seems to catch up even though you got a poor exit it might have better brakes as well Sam Webbo's into second It's a good looking car, isn't it? It's quite scary to see in the mirrors. The GT1.
need to keep it in second. Oh, he's coming. That's the exit. Sarf anti blue light glasses, probably save my eyes. Big fan from Nepal. Oh, that's a bit deep. I didn't know I had fans in Nepal, but I do now. Come on, Sam. I think I found a bit of pace here. I think a lot of the speed in this car is correct gear choice. Oh, and not taking wide lines like that. Second gear seems to work quite well. I suppose we learned that in the time trial. Yeah, the pops and bangs are, are lovely. Oh, he's lurking, but he's not quite got the pace, I don't think. Imagine actually driving this car for real. How good that would be. He's not quite got it, has he? He's, he's there, but maybe the dirty air is not very good. He might be struggling because of dirty air, yeah, I don't know. Oh. That could have been worse.
Okay. That was quite a good drive. I kept that nice and tidy. Nice and simple. I'm surprised Sam couldn't really go for an assault, but maybe maybe the dirty air. I, I, I don't really know. Dirty air does seem to affect Group 2 and Group 1 quite badly. Thank you, Dean. Is the GT1 an LMP900 or a GT1 class machine? Um, guess given the name GT1, right? Um, yeah, I do believe when they made this car, the category got put into is kind of confusing. Like, I was trying to do some research on it last night. I'm not actually sure. Like, I know it did Le Mans in '99 and '98. I think it was meant to race under the GT1 regulations, wasn't it? I don't know if they did. It's all a bit all over the place. Thank you, uh, Dean. Victory, fastest lap, clean race. Boom. Let's change the track. Um, nope, not car settings. This bit here. Uh, edit event settings. Let's try. Um, Deep Forest could be a, an interesting one. I'm going to try Deep Forest. And I'm going to jump into the Mercedes. Then it might be easier to compare. When it loads. How much is the GT1? It is 2.5 million credits. And it's in the Legend Car dealership. Yeah, 2.5 mil. Which is cheaper than I thought it would be. I I got 20 mil credits. I thought, well, I'll keep them just in case I need to spend 15 million on this car. You see on the right there, someone's got the, uh, the Bentley Speed 8 livery on their GT1. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. Okay, change car. I'm going to go with the CLK. Okay, so 809. Is that correct? Does the BOP... Oh. Well, let's just jump into this. Right, let's go on track quickly and then uh oh look at this thing just trying to think if group two did come here has group two we've had a group two race here before right then this car was the dominant car i i think we had one maybe two months ago i think we had a group two race here and this was the car to use So, so I guess if this, if the GT1 is close to this car in terms of performance, then at least there's a chance it might not be a one, a one make race. Yeah, the seal. This was the car to use. Because I suppose Deforest has very long straights. You need the straight line speed. Oh, he's done it again. Next track, Bathurst. Okay. We can do Bathurst next. Rotha, absolute hero, man. You, you, you don't have to do that, but... <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Very... Very kind. Too kind, you could argue. We can do some Mount Panorama.
this feels equal pace with the GT500, but it's, it's not easy to know for sure. Maybe I'll have to do a little time trial session just to see if they're balanced. But yeah, we got to say it. Roffer, absolute... Absolute gangster in the chat. Big T, good to see you, mate. We've got the pointless qualifying session again. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, let's change that quick. We just need practice and race, don't we? Do, 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 do. And we might as well just start the race. Let's uh, let everyone enter. So what have we got? A few CLKs. This is the main thing, really, isn't it? Just... Is the CLK balanced with the GT1? It would be nice if it is, because then we could have actually have a race when Group 2 comes up. That is the key here. If you're if you're enjoying the stream, do drop a like. We'll get to 2,000. Let's get to 2,000 right now. How many subs have I got? 907243. And if you enjoy, get yourself subbed. Only if you enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, then you don't have to. There's nothing I can do, really, is there? Right, is everyone... GT1 seems fast on the straights. Okay, well, this will be a really good test. We'll find out which is better. Let's let everyone just join this lobby quick. The shirt arrived. Good to hear, Big T. How'd you find it? Love to know who your supplier is. Good quality. Thank you very much. But yeah, they do a good job on the merch. Again, supergt.gg if you want to buy a Super GT hoodie, t-shirt, cap, and socks. We do socks. Imagine getting, getting yourself some Super GT socks. Right, let's get everyone to enter. Then we can do this damn race. Do, 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 do. Scotty! Good to see you, Scotty Senior. Oh, they've all entered, okay. How did you enjoy iRacing and its weather? Oh man, honestly, I was really, really impressed. Levicious. Good to see you in here, mate. I was trying to chase down your ghost on Fuji earlier, and I failed miserably. But yeah, iRacing was amazing. The, the weather was really good. It was really just engaging, like, racing like that. Oh, I'm at the front. I should let my... I'll let everyone go. Um, I loved it. But yeah, it was, it was really good. Like, they, they've done the weather so good on that. Oh. speed eight i love that livery that's very cool we can have the bentley speed eight at home version yeah i racing that they've done a really good job with that weather you, you can see why they've waited to make sure it's right and they've, they've done a very good job oh there's a guy in the wall I definitely want to do more special events on iRacing. I really enjoyed it. Oh, God. Got to be super careful here. Right, drag race. Oh, bit of contact. Oh, get a bit close. Oh, there's like four of us here. 
three abreast. Oh, I've been pushed. Sorry, I've been pushed. <laughs> right. What's behind me? Audi. Audi's somewhat keeping up. Interesting. Well, that GT1, look at that. Yeah, no, GT1's quick. GT1's quick in a straight line. speed difference those cars don't stand a chance really do they oh he's gone well on right there's a GT1 up there better directly compare in a minute down this back straight or the main straight Here we go. Well, I've done him. He's coming back at me. Uh, yeah, it's got good speed at the end of the straight. Oh, bro. Come on. He's on the grass. I keep up with it in the slipstream. But yeah, that GT1 is... I think it has slightly better straight line. It looks close though, which is good. That's kind of what you want. It's not like ridiculously different. Like it wouldn't be impossible for me to overtake that if I got a good exit from the corner before. Let's say in a like a well-balanced lobby where everyone's the same. It'd be great to have more sort of GT1 class cars. G group 2 has always been sort of a bit of a bear group, hasn't it? There's not many, there's not enough cars in it. See if we can get a better lap time. Purple.
It's a very nice and tidy lap. This car is... This car feels a bit easier to drive in the corners. It feels more stable. Maybe that's the balance difference. This car... Mercedes has more... Stability. Slightly less straight line speed. That seems to be what it is. I think this should be a fastest lap. A low 21. in the wall. I don't know about this McLaren F1. Like, that never seems to feature, does it? In Group 2 races. Just like never see anyone ever use that. I just don't think it's got anything. It'd be nice if they change the BOP on group two a bit more. Yeah, but the yeah, that McLaren F1 is just a bit dead, isn't it? Bit of a shame. First time catching a Super GT live stream? Yeah, welcome everyone who's tuned in, and especially everyone who's tuned in for their very first time. I suppose I am streaming at an unusual time for me, so it gives other people a chance, I suppose, to tune in. A lot of people were asking before the stream went live, like, is this right? You don't normally stream at this time, but it is absolutely right. I think I'd like to do this more when there's updates. We'll um, jump on them first thing and give them a go. See what they're all about. Yeah, I'd say this... I mean, it's a different track I'm driving on compared to Interlagos, but this car feels a bit more stable compared to the Toyota. Toyota's a bit leery on the power if you don't get the exit right. CLK first, second, and fourth. Interesting. It's interesting. Thank you, Big T. Thank you for jumping in, mate. We'll sort out the um, overlay at some point soon. It gives a whole new audience to slack off work, yeah. I suppose that's what it is. In the middle of the day, at least, if you're all at work. Got this up on your second monitor. Hold and fast slap, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Okay, that was an interesting race. Um, that was certainly interesting. Should we do this? For, I, I really want to do this just for the lols. Um, just for the absolute bants of it. Where is it? Where on earth? We're doing it. Yeah, I'm playing with viewers, and... I'm going to jump into Toyota GT1. We're just going to have a meme race. 
Oh god. I need to do Bathurst, don't I? <laughs> We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We'll do it after Bathurst. Bathurst. We've got to do Bathurst. How could I forget? I'm such an awful person. Um, where is it? There. It's right next to it. Let's do five laps. Maybe put a bit of tire wear on there. Not much, just a little bit. Thank you, Crazy Legs Life. Breakfast with Super GT. Cheers from Canada. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, really, does it? Look at that. The map is still Special Stage Rex. Sorry, at Bathurst. That's funny. How does that work? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Roffer, if you can beat Wolf at Mount Panorama, no pressure, Wolf. Oh, 100 Australian dollars if you can beat Wolf at Mount Panorama. No pressure, Wolf. Not sure if this is allowed on YouTube, but I'm sure you'll let me know. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think when it comes to donations and like, that kind of thing. I think there's a problem if it's like, I'll give you 50 quid if you down that bottle of vodka. Like, that kind of thing. If it's like that, then I think there's problems with that. But if it's just beat that guy, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think there's a problem with that. Right, I'm going to go back to the Toyota GT1. Brackets, TS020, close brackets, 99. Softs, maybe? That's a... That's a good idea. Someone's just suggested softs, so... Okay, um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's try some soft tires. See how, see how they perform. Okay, where are they? Here. Yeah. If everyone's bought them... I don't know if everyone has bought them. Because you have to buy them. Can you... Wait, can you buy them in the menu? Yeah, maybe you can. Oh yeah, race shop is in here, so it's all good. Thank goodness, right? They added the race shop option here. How annoying was it when you jump into a race, you didn't have the right tires, and they have to go all the way back to the GT Auto? Oh my god, that was so annoying. That was so annoying. As cool as the Gran Turismo sort of HUD and menus are, and like. How historic and iconic they are. Sometimes they're a bit clunky. Right, yeah, let's get the soft tyres on and let's have a race. Um, one second, sorry. I don't know what the grid order is because I, I don't want to be at the front again. Um, passes first, sorry. Uh, tyres are still initialising. God damn it. God damn you. Gran Turismo 7 menus. Oh well, no, let's just race. Let's just race. Let's just go. Doesn't matter that much. Let's not try and overthink it. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be interesting. Quite a dirt track. I don't even. Can you do that? I don't even know if you can. You have to have dirt tires. I don't know if you can buy dirt tires for this. Could be a meme race. Could be quite funny if you can. Is it Group One or Group Two? This car is in Group Two, believe it or not. Here we go.
Uh, he's got a very good exit. The CLK seems... I think the CLK is a better acceleration. But then the GT1 has a better sec... Yeah. The GT1 is better in the second half of a straight. The CLK... Oh, he's gone on. <laughs> CLK is better at the beginning of the straight. If you want to check out the setup I'm using, it's all in the description below. Vanatec CSL, no, it's not. Vanatec DD Plus Extreme is the wheel I'm using. With the McLaren GT3 rim. fun this car or this track is fun it's a cool combo would we ever see a group two race around here i don't know but i can imagine if it did ever happen it would be between the gt1 and the clk Touch the touch the grass there. Yeah, I'd imagine they should be adding this car as next week's daily race. Well, I, who knows which daily race, but one of them will be Group 2, presumably. That's normally how they do it. Maybe daily race A will be the, like the Lambo, Lamborghini Urus or the Audi R8. I'd imagine Daily Race B, or probably C, will be Group 2 somewhere in presumably this car. Well, is it, if it's Group 2, it would just be an open choice, won't it? But... I think get away. Just stay out of the slipstream. See what happens. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back at him. So yeah, I think that confirms it. CLK better acceleration. Toyota GT1 better top speed. Uh, top end, top speed. So it might be very track dependent. It'd be very track dependent as to which one is the best to go for. When is the next iRacing stream? I'm planning to maybe do one on Sunday because there's um, a pretty cool uh, Nurburgring series starting. Jimmy and I might tackle that one together, so possibly that. 
Is every car allowed in the lobby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's open choice GT uh, Group 2, but I felt it's probably best to compare the um, Mercedes to the Toyota. So most people have gone for those two. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's just start this race, shall we? I'll give I'll give people two more minutes just to um to set a lap time if they want to. Will you do a set of Corsa in the future? Um, I would rule it out. I haven't really got plans to, but I know ACC has Nurburgring Nordschleife coming out very soon, so that might be worth doing. However, I think when it comes out, isn't that in the middle of April? So just for reference, guys, I don't know if you heard it earlier, but I'm going to be at the Nurburgring on the 4th of April until the 15th. So I'm going to be away for 10 days. So I've got two weekends back to back racing. So I'm going to stay there. It'd be easier just to stay there rather than come back and go back again. So the 1st of April, okay. Which is what? A few days time. Um, but yeah, w when I'm at the Nürburgring, I won't be able to make as many videos, but I'll try and do something. I'll try and make some videos beforehand and do some live streams as well while I'm there. I'll work something out. So it won't be no content. Let's put it that way. M4 looks sick. Honestly, like I'm so happy about it. For those who haven't seen it, I mean, I could show you quickly. Um... Here it is. This is the car I'll be driving or racing next week. BMW M4 GT4. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, there's a full video on the channel, but I've also posted a like a full on board. So an entire lap of Portimao. Um, and as you can probably see, that wheel that we're using is this one. So I have one here and I can actually just use it. I could use it right now, but I'm more comfortable with the McLaren one. But yeah, um, it was pretty cool. Just had to do that. All right, let's start this race. Have I watched the Gran Turismo movie? I've actually watched it three times. I've watched it three times. The wheel was blurred in Jimmy's videos, but not yours. How come? Um, because he is sponsored by Moza. And Fanatec is a direct rival of Moza. So. Oh, God. I went straight into second. That didn't... Holy hell. Well, let's get past this guy. Oh my goodness. He's tried it around the outside. Everyone <laughs> summoning the wall. I suppose this is the challenge now. Can I get past the CLKs? Oh, not not we're driving like that. I won't. Thanks for 2k likes. Cheers, guys. Hope you're enjoying the stream as ever. Oh, 
Oh, I guess it. I guess a good gap, doesn't it? I can't quite catch up. Oh God! Almost killed him. Come off it. That's my chances of winning gone. To be fair, they went on this lap. Oh, look at that mess back there. Let's catch up with second. Come on. We can get him. Two point four the gap. Try and get the fastest lap of the race as well. That'd be good. Yeah, it's quite hard to overtake the Mercedes because it's just so good out of the turns. It takes too long to get straight line speed advantage. Oh, this is a really fun track for this car. Really, really fun. Inspired choice by Roffa. I think this should be the fastest lap. I've gained a second on this guy already. I much prefer this track in this car. I don't like it that much in Group 3. And I normally love Group 3. But in this, this is really good. This is really fun. We should be on him by the end of the lap, hopefully. Overtaking him is going to be a problem. It's going to be... It's not going to be easy. Oh. Maybe it is. It's going to be very easy. Just going to disappear. That's what I was waiting for. The classic trick, you know, just make your opponent disappear into thin air. Just vaporize them into a new dimension and then you don't really have to actually overtake them. Roffer 
stop enjoying it. <laughs> no, you're right. It's an awful track. One of the worst. Oh god, a deep. No, this is genuinely... This is fun in this car. There's no question. It's hard to say what would be the best car. If a Group 2 race came here, what would be the best car? Be interesting to know that. That was a good lap so far anyway like you echo the shark keep enjoying it will do mate have to hold that fourth gear really long in this car That's a new fastest lap there. Hold on to dreading. We won that. I think I had the pace. I just didn't have the amount of laps. That's a good race, though. That's really a good combo. What setting am I using for ABS? Uh, default. Yeah, it seems to handle the mountain really well. I think this car is good. It's good in sort of medium and high speed. I think in low speed, um, I think in low speed it it lacks a little bit. Yeah, good race dreading. You had some good pace there. I think if I could have got past third and second quickly, I could have caught you, but. It relied on me getting past them quick and I just lost too much time. I suppose that's the th thing though. It's, it's not easy to overtake on that track in this type of car. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Um, we're going to leave that here for now. That was a good little fun couple of races. Thank you to everyone who joined. Oh, do you want to... Should we do a Route X race? We should do that Route X race, shouldn't we? Just just for the lols. Just do one lap. How do you think it would fare at Spa? At Spa, it would be amazing. Spa is like mostly medium high speed. So I think the GT1 would be really good there. Okay, right, let's just, uh, G. Du, 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 du. A special stage route X coming right up. Beautiful. We all love this track. One lap. The one lap shootout. BOP on. Why not? Okay, we're doing it. This is the race, guys. This is where it's at. 
this is what it's all about. Special stage root X. What would you rate the cornering ability of the GT1 versus the CLK? Oh, um, they're really close. I would say low speed, the um, CLK feels more stable. Medium high is quite similar. It's really hard to say exactly. It's really hard to say exactly. I'm going I'm going GT1. Right, if we all just do 10 laps of practice quickly, guys. Change settings. Let's get the get the mediums back on there. For those who have never seen this track before, you're in for a treat. It's a true test for drivers in every aspect. Has there been any GT games without the GT1? Funnily enough, I think GT1. I think Gran Turismo 1 didn't have this car. I think. Someone might want to check that. <laughs> Fantastic. Massive F. Was that wrong information or something? Did I say... Wait. Toyota GT1 Gran Turismo. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, wrong screen. That one. Du, 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 du. I've already been on it. Um, it first appeared in Gran Turismo 2. Apparently. And it's featured in all sub subsequent main line games except for GT Sport it wasn't in GT Sport but it has been in every other game but it wasn't in Gran Turismo 1 so the GT1 wasn't in GT1 the game interestingly that's the point isn't it because Gran Turismo 1 came out in 1997 so that's obviously why which is before the car was even made <laughs> It makes sense. Oh, Roffer. He's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. Well done, my friend. I think there must have been some British internet glitch that puts an American in first and an Englishman in second. Yeah, man. There are forces at play in that race. Let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> I don't know where um, your friend, your Australian friend was. He disappeared. The challenge was there and didn't rise to the occasion. Just didn't rise to the occasion. A hundred Australian dollars. Well, I mean, on top of the 200 he's already sent today. <laughs> 300, that is, if you add it up. He got taken out. Ah, there you go. Maybe I paid someone else to wipe him out. I was like, right, look, I'm going to get 100 Australian dollars. I'll give you 50 if you just wipe this guy out for me. That may or may not have happened. I won't disclose if it did or not. Um, anyway, we are heading back to Special Stage Rex. Hopefully, the game wants to work this time. That'd be, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely if it did that. Imagine the game working. Do I watch F1? Yes. I do. I didn't watch the Australian Grand Prix. I didn't watch it live because I can't couldn't be bothered to wake up at 4 a.m. Right, GT1. Nice. Correct tires. Yes. Okay. What team? I, I mean, McLaren is the team I've always favoured since the beginning. When Hakkinen was racing for them, and then Raikkonen, but I'm not like obviously I'm with Quadrant and Lando, and he's in McLaren. 
I've always supported McLaren, but at the same time, I just want good races, basically. That's the main thing for me. I don't really care who wins as long as it's a good battle. Good race, you know? Oh, the game's going a bit laggy. Don't do it, game. Don't do it. Never seen a room fill up so quick. Honestly, man, like, I set up a lobby and within literally less than two seconds, it can be full up. Kind of mad. How much is the GT1? The GT1 is 2.5 million. It's in the Legend Car dealership. Oh, I'm struggling up the hill. Start qualifying. <laughs> Do you dislike high racing because of the incident counter? No. I think that's a good thing. Right, here comes the most crucial quali- Do we have to actually finish the lap? Don't tell me we have to actually finish the lap. What actually happens here? Do we all... Oh, God. <laughs> Holy... I'm inside Levicious. Oh. Oh, whoops. Sorry, mate. Didn't see you there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, mate. Didn't see you there, mate. Sorry. So I push him. Let's go, let's go. Right. How quick can a GT1 go in reverse? That's the crucial question. We all need to know the answer to. We have a hundred mile an hour here. He's <laughs> going really quick. Hundred and twenty. Oh, J turn. That was a nice turn. <laughs> oh, we actually have to finish this lap, don't we? I oh, know. Time remaining. It's all good. All good. <laughs> okay, right. Start of the race. Two hundred and forty in reverse. Oh, the hell. That's the, that's the crucial information we need to know about this car. How fast does it go backwards? All right, here we go, guys. This is the big one. One lap, a one lap shootout at Special Stage Route X. This is the one the fans come to see. Is there any rain on the horizon? No, there isn't. Oh, shite. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Lev. Now Levicious is going to be miles off the group at the back. He shouldn't have hit me. Is he there? Oh, God. Oh. I'm going to try and help Levicious. Get him back in the race. Oh, that is a nice car. Look at that GT1 there. The blue livery. That is lovely. See if we can get back in this race with Levicious. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm right, coming in. Let's go. 
this might be a fun challenge to try to get back in this race together. Alright, let's do it. Alright, now we need to bump as a group. We can keep it in fifth. Are well, we doing it, guys? We're doing it. Get those bumps going. That's it. We're doing it. Oh, yeah, we are doing it. We're going to catch them. We're going to do it. See you later, Mercedes. This feels so nostalgic. I know that this track isn't in like Gran Turismo 2 and 3. Just like driving this kind of car around a big test track. Come on. Where's these other guys? I think we're losing. I think we're losing ground. Yeah, we're losing out now. Damn it. That was a big puff of smoke. This is an actual track in real life. No. It is not. It's a good looking car, isn't it? Well, we tried. We tried. Yeah, it's one of the best looking cars in the game. I, I just, it's just so good. It is beautiful. Oh, can we catch up with that guy in ninth? Come on, let's get him. We're gaining. 3 3.7, 3.6, 3.5, 3.4, 3.3, 3.2. We're getting him. We're going to do him. He is not safe. I think he read dead uh, character creations. If you feel my Bentley livery, I'll kiss you through the screen. <laughs> Oh, it's the betrayal. Well, let's get that guy. We got him. Oh, another betrayal. Oh, that was seriously close. Congratulations to the boys back at the Toyota factory for bringing home an incredible 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, yeah. Top 12 locked out by Toyota. Incredible. That was a very close little battle there. <laughs> Good fun little race. RTR Roger Rooms, member for 21 months. Thank you very much, mate. Super GT, thanks for making the COVID era more enjoyable as you entered us as you entered us with your channel. 
you are appreciated. Gratitude is a must. Well, Roger, I appreciate you watching, man, and thank you for being entertained. I've got to say again, oh, Connor the Wombat, I've missed your donation. Thank you very much, mate. This is the best track in the world. Um, I was, I'm guessing you're not talking about this one. I think you mean um, Mount Panorama, don't you? But Mount Panorama is a very cool track. I just need to get better at it. And also thank you, Rotha, the OG, once again. We've got to thank him. Chucking in the big dollars. Big, big dollars. That was a fun race, wasn't it? I want to do it again, though. But actually, like, have a proper race this time. Right. I'm doing it. Right, let's get rid of that. We're doing it again. This time we're actually going to be in the front group. I'm not going to get a stupid jump start. Yeah, let's not mess the start up. <laughs> as soon as Levicious hit me, I was like, right, that's him. He's out of the race because he's killed his momentum by hitting me. As nice as it was for me. They need to... Should we petition someone to make this track for real? How many millions would this track cost to make? Like, I mean, I think this track actually deserves a video in its own right, given the mystery of it. It is such a strange location. The port, the airport, it's got um, a big satellite array. It's got a w very weird sort of space-looking building. It, there's so much going on. Hundreds of million. Probably billions, yeah. Like it's a ridiculous facility. Okay, let's jump in. Yeah, I heard about this guy in Japan. Yeah, who just made this really cool track in his in his garden, essentially. wait for the one extra person to join and then we're in. Da -da -da. Mr. Ryugi, just saw the M4 GT4 car. What a beauty. You are absolutely on the money there, mate. It is, uh, it is a beautiful car. I mean, look at it. Look at it. I'm driving it this year. It's um, it's an honour to drive that kind of thing. Right, let's let's. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ryuga. Yeah, man, the car is awesome. Like, I can't wait to drive it. Or, well, I've already driven it, but I can't wait to drive it at the Nurburgring. Right, let's not get this start wrong. Blue livery is cool. I'd like that blue livery. I think the red one's better, but that blue one is cool. Right, straight in. Congrats on your GT4 involvement with Bill Stein. Also love your racing videos in general. Well, thank you very much, uh, Shieldrot123. Is that German for some type of bread? Am I getting your name completely muddled up or something? But thank you very much, mate. It's, it's going to be so, so cool, you know, racing this year, especially the Nürburgring 24. That is going to be unbelievable. Oh, 
They're pulling away. Support me, come on. Yes. Oh, look at that. What a push. Ah, Sam Webbo. A pleasure to have you on here, mate. Thank you for becoming a member. Good races uh, earlier. Oh, this is a battle now. Yeah, thank you, Sam. Appreciate that, mate. I'm sure we'll have some very close races in the very near future. The difference between... The speed difference between getting bumped and not getting bumped is massive. It's like 20 mile an hour. Run out of steam. Ooh. Oh, here they come. Oh, I'm keeping my momentum here. Just got back in front. Come on. Back to P5. It's building up. The anticipation here. In the special stage route X Grand Prix. We're moving our way to the front. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes! Woo! What a battle! Scintillating battle here. Going for the front. Oh, it's free abreast. The vicious is going back. Oh, I've not got a pusher. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Look at how many cars there are. The anticipation is building. Thank you, Peter. 200 laps Nürburgring IRL. Can you imagine? Levicious to the front. Do you want to be at the front at this point? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm going low. I'm going low. Pushing the blue one. Oh, goodness me. The Spaniards got inside me. Oh, it's three abreast at the lead. Baby, that was almost a big, big collision. Oh! Here we go. Spaniard did it. Whew. What a battle that was. Do 24 hours of that. 200 laps of that. That was a really good race, actually. 0.4 between first and eight. <laughs> yeah, the Spaniard who just nipped underneath me there. He won that. Didn't think I left enough of a gap, but he got through it. Fair play. Levicious, very close. I thought he I thought he was gonna win that. But just the Spaniard got back at him. Incredible scenes. Incredible scenes here. 
How many miles have I driven this month? 2,700. That is the second most I think I've ever done. Or like the third most. In one month. 3,000 in May last year. And then... I think it's when the game came out I did. 3,600 in March, yeah. That was a good race. That was a phenomenal race. That was actually genuinely a good race. Like, it's fun. That is a fun combo. Like, no word of a lie. It's actually fun. Thank you to everyone who joined that lobby. That was that was a enjoyable race, actually. I re I really did quite like that. Something we want to look at is um. This is the new BOP. Of Group Three. Um. So one of the big jumps is, I don't know if you can quite read it, but where is it? Here. Number 18. It's just underneath my camera, but it's the Ford GT LM. And this number here is 60. It's been, it's added 60 horsepower. 60. And that is why... Oh, they've, they have they changed? They got rid of it. Okay, they've they've changed it. That is why it was this morning dominating the leaderboard. It was like a, a second a lap quicker. Okay, they've got rid of that. So it's all good. <laughs> the weight gain. Um, Yeah, just looking at this. Sorry, just looking at it again. They've pulled it from Daily Race C and reset the leaderboard. Yeah. What was the cost of my setup? Oh, God. I wouldn't want to even say. It's, um, I think everything all together... Like, let's say... Include the rig... All of the sound setup, all the screens, the PlayStation 5, the PC, um, all the lighting, the Fanatec wheel, the mic. Uh, I mean, the PC alone is, was like 4,000 or something. Something like that. So that's just the PC. But then um, all the rig, I don't know, approaching 10K, I don't know. But it's my job, so I just reinvest it into that. So it, like, it makes sense to have a good PC because I need to use it all the time. Uh, okay, so that isn't a worry now, the, the new car there. But anyway, I've been streaming for a good sort of four hours nearly now. So we're just going to... We're going to wrap it up there because I think we've covered everything in this update. It's, it's a very cool update with the... G GT1. Other than that, doesn't add the hugest amount. We want to see more. Um, want to see more tracks added, ideally. That would um, that would be nice if we see some uh, see some more tracks. As cool as these cars are, it's cool to have this kind of car in the game. But um, we want to see more of them and more tracks. Just more, 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 more. Next Daily Race stream. Um, I'm going to try and create a video for it. Might be able to do one on the weekend. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Thank you, uh, Brad uh, Brad Beach, by the way, for becoming a member. Thank you, Peter, for the donation earlier. Sam Webbo for becoming a member. Um, Roffers, again, again, for all of the donations. Absolute crazy guy. 
Absolute legend. Too many legends. Your fanatic wheel settings. Okay, I'll go through them right now. Sensitivity 540. Feedback strength 50. Full force 50. Uh, NDP 15. Nat fry, whatever that is. I can't even remember. Natural friction. Off. National in um Natural inertia off FF interp three F F E intensity one hundred force effects percentage one hundred spring effects percentage one hundred DPR effects percentage one hundred break BRK dot IND break in something off MPS mo auto break force fifty that's it. Am I comfy with 540 rotation? Um, getting there. I still need to practice a bit more with it. I'm, I'm not completely up to speed, but I think um, I'm not too far off. <laughs> you want to see the GT1? I've just raced it for the last four hours, pretty much. You can just rewind the stream. <laughs> you can see it. What's the one track you like to race IRL? Um, oh. Le Mans. If I had to pick one, that, that I mean, that's it doesn't get more iconic than that, really. Nurburgring, I've already done. I mean, I, I love that track, but I've already done it. But Le Mans, yeah. Du, 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 du. One second, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna try and record a um a, a daily race video for you, but. No promises. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, this was um, a fun live stream. I think when more updates come out in the future, I want to do the same kind of thing and just cover them and see what happens. And I think you guys have enjoyed this one, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll see you very soon. Hopefully this weekend. We'll have a couple more videos out. But yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.